Today on Dead Dodge Garage, why is this 1968 Dodge Charger RT $150,000? I'll tell you why. Um, cause it's actually good. This is a follow up video to one I did about this Charger RT, which sold at Mecham a couple months back for $170,000. This one's just bad everywhere. And uh, if you want more information on that, go find that video. You can also just Google Mecham 1968 Dodge Charger RT, scroll down a couple links and you can find these pictures and they'll show you everything you need to know. Oh, it's so cute. Since making the video about the green car, I've been looking for another one. You know, horrible auction site hackery. I mean, there has to be more out there. We hear about it all the time. I stumbled over this car the other day shared on the B-Body group and I thought this could be it. But the more I looked, the more I realized this car is actually great. And it's a really good example of what you want to see in a fully restored Charger RT. Honestly, the only flaw I've found in this car so far is the back bumper. It looks like it might be tweaked just a little bit and the fitment isn't quite right, especially on this passenger side. That's it. Now, this car was recently restored and painted in this gorgeous light blue metallic color, and I can almost guarantee there's rust repair here, and here, and probably other places because, well, it is still a charger. I don't see any bubbles, I don't see any bad spots in the paint, I don't see any mismatching. It looks really good. It probably looks better than it's supposed to, really. As near as I've been able to tell, the detail work is immaculate. All the little rubber pieces are pretty. The panels are gorgeous. This is just a really nicely done car. Oh, wait a second. Ah, ah. The door panel's not perfect. Here's our first look under the car and down the driver's side rocker panel. And again, it just looks nice. I mean, all of this mismatched seam stuff, that's factory quality or better there. Okay, the seats are the tiniest bit frumpy, but I think that's just what you get when you reupholster them. I've never seen a set that didn't have any of that. Wow, the interior lights actually work. That's really nice and it fits perfectly. The carpet looks great too. That sticker's in place. It almost looks like they clear coated over it because it's got some weird reflections there, but looks better than my car. Headliner replacements often end up frumpy back here too. This looks pretty darn good. Wow, not only does the dash panel look nice, it's got all its screws. A note here, that knockout panel is for rear defrost controls. My car has the control, but no rear defrost. Kind of funny. Just look at this. Compare that to this other car. What is that extra $20,000 for? I mean, seriously. Now, obviously, we're not test driving this car in person, so it's not like I can guarantee that all this stuff works, but it sure looks good. Radio delete panel. I don't think it's a radio delete car. They said they added this. It must be aftermarket because it doesn't fit perfectly. Four speed with the wood shift knob. That's sweet. Okay, I did notice the soft parts on the dash are a little meh, but seriously, I don't think they get any better than this. Passenger side rocker, just as good as the driver's side. That could be something in the paint, but I'm pretty sure it's a reflection. There's a lot of that. There is perfect component restoration work all over this car. Everything just looks nice and new and restored. So much blue. When you see something like a seat back that looks this good, that just seems like a sign of a job well done to me. These guys at Unique Classic Cars are on it. There are so many pictures of this car. I mean, you can see everything in great detail. And again, there's nothing bad to find, I don't think. Take this engine compartment, for example. This looks like a flawless restoration to me. Correct washer bottle, correct air cleaner, correct stickers. I mean, the bolts look nice. All the parts are right. Correct return spring, correct hoses and hose clamps, heater hoses, heater hose bracket, the holder that sticks up on the valve cover. It's got a red cap battery. Everything looks great. Radiator support blackout. They might've done too good of a job there. That's supposed to look crappier. After the bad taste that other car left in my mouth, it's just great to see good work like this. Yes, it's extremely expensive, but for the price, this is what that other car should have looked like. Okay, the jack instructions might be too straight. Pretty sure those are supposed to be at some horrible jaunty angle. Flawless trunk. Actually too nice. Why is the filler polished? Perfect sound deadener application. Actually, again, kind of too nice. I think there's supposed to be a gap out in the metal or something. And definitely more runs. Have I made my point? I think I've made my point. Let's look at the underside of the car. Wait, look at this. They even pulled the trunk stuff out, so you can see how good a job they did on the things you can't see. 
Wow. Well, here's literally where the rubber hits the road. And I'm seeing a lot I like already. From the factory, these lower control arms were dipped in Cosmoline. It looks like these are painted to look like they're dipped in Cosmoline. And it looks nice. Important note. Drum brakes were standard on the Charger RT in 1968. Several people commented on the other video to say, I oh, can't be an RT with drum brakes. Yes. Yes, it can. And it is. Look at this underside. It's fantastic. There is one wee little bit of overspray there. That's, you know, wheel well, liner, sound deadener, undercoating. That's what it's called. I bet the factory did a way sloppier job than that. Other side, same thing. New quality greasable parts. And what's this? A sway bar. This car actually has the sway bar. Oh, okay. I found one tiny nitpicky thing. On the tie rod sleevey thingy, those are supposed to be over those dots. They keep them from moving side to side. Now on these new production parts, they are way outboard there. And I don't really know why. So I could understand whoever put this together doesn't think that's right. But that is where they're supposed to go. Now there's that overspray in better detail. And absolutely beautiful replacement fuel and vapor lines. You could turn this car upside down and serve Thanksgiving dinner on it. Seriously, when the hardware under the car looks this good, it tells you all you need to know. Correct Dana 60 for a 444 speed. Correct leaf springs. It's not adjusted very tightly, but I bet the e-brake actually works. Correct tags on the correct Dana 60. I did notice the paint finish on the axle is a little... Yeah. I don't know what that's supposed to look like from the factory. Maybe that's correct. There, you can pretty clearly see in that view the slight difference on the back bumper gaps. Again, not perfect. But I'm not going to worry about it. It wasn't perfect when it was new. Another nice view of the underside. Thinking this was rust pitted before it was painted. Mm. Look how nice the starter looks. You know what I don't see under this car? Fluid leaks. I also don't see any vacuum hoses hanging down, so I bet the headlights actually work. The selling dealer actually knows these cars and knows where to find the numbers that we need to verify match. They do. Okay, one other teeny tiny thing. The hood doesn't quite line up perfectly. Again, I don't think it did when it was new. And you can see here, just like every other one of these cars, the grill is not perfectly straight. It's plastic. It is what it is. This car is gorgeous. And if I ever meet the guy who did it, I think I'll give him a hug. There's a lot of great detail here. If you're curious what one of these cars is supposed to look like when it's been restored, check this thing out. Now, is it worth $150,000? I don't know. It's definitely worth more than that green one from Mecom, I'll tell you that. The restoration alone probably costs something approaching that, so maybe it is. If you've got the cash to go buy yourself a fully restored Charger RT, I think you should get this one, if you like the color. And even if you don't, but you might someday, I think you should look this car over. Then you'll know what they're supposed to look like. Hey, it's only $2,375 a month. That ain't bad. A lot of these restored chargers are absolute turds, but I don't think this one is. I think it's pretty good. And that's all I have to say about that. Thanks to these guys for a really great listing on this car. Thanks to whoever did such a good job on this thing. And thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I'm on the hunt for auction cars and restored cars that are for sale. You know, for ridiculous amounts or whatever. Whether they're good or bad, I want to see them. So if you've got something you think I should check out or maybe do a video on, drop me a link at jamienoise at gmail.com or put it down in the comments. And remember, sometimes you get and sometimes you get got. There's even a video. Oh, this is awesome. Muscle car fans in general, check this one out. It is a beauty.